I like to watch Abba and Preach. Because they are funny. <laughs> they are f <laughs> funny as hell. Now I went uh, zoom in, but they are incredibly funny. It is crazy. And this video is Men Are Simple. Th th that's all it is. Men Are Simple. <laughs> Let's get into it. Men are simple, okay? And I say this because I need to reassure myself sometimes that men are simple, okay? The main difference between a man and a woman is obviously our, our parts, but it's our hormones. And a man's hormones regenerate every 24 hours, whereas a woman's is 28 days. Okay, we, we know this, though. We know this. But one of the main factors... I don't know. I can't prove that. So I don't know. However... However, and that's really important. <laughs> that that's really important. Uh, men are not simple. We just have different issues. Factors that differentiate men and women is what we stress about. What does a man stress about, and what does a woman stress about? Let me tell you, okay. One of the main things a man stresses about when he wakes up every morning. Is work. Is she talking about me? Is she talking about me? <laughs> I feel I feel called out. Yes, yes, I agree. <laughs> but that is not what the regular man is stressing out about. The regular man is stressing about 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 purpose. About uh, yeah, also work, but also. Purpose, um, um, meaning in life, uh, how, how to, you know, maybe have a family, buy a house, you know, regular things. The heck are you talking about? Okay, that is work. No, women, if you're going to tell me work is the first thing you stress about in the morning, then you're, you're like, you're a man, you're masculine. Uh, yo, ladies, there's 9.7% that are watching my videos. If you stress about men, uh, if you stress about work, maybe men also, <laughs> but if you stress about work, you're a man now. Also, bro is really cro cr close. No, she's got bills. When it started, I was like, okay, let, let her finish. Let her finish. You're worried about the wrong things, okay? A man stresses about work the first thing he wakes up in the morning, okay? That's when his testosterone levels are at its rise, its peak, right? You gotta get it done, okay? Women, the roof over your head was created by a man, okay? The road you're driving on, created by a man. Men are simple. They get the job done. They have to. They wake up every day. The only thing I stress about in the morning is why I woke up so early. <laughs> That's also sometimes me. Dressing if they can. Women, what do we stress about? What do we stress about the most, okay? What do we stress about pretty much when we wake up and then when we go to bed? Well, what, 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 what do women stress about when they wake up? What's, what's her answer going to be? Are their faces. Makeup. Mm. That's what she's going to say. When I wake up, I'm not going to lie. The first thing I stress about is my boner, okay? Because I wake up hard as shit. Because it's kind of natural. And I'm like, all right, just got to. <laughs> Great. Bro wakes up and thinks about his, uh, thinks about his boner. That is insane. <laughs> I like also, I like this, this, this. He's almost laughing. And the other one is, om is like looking at him suspiciously. <laughs> I beat one out in the morning before I can get my day started. I don't even think about work. I can't think about work right when I wake up. I gotta think about anything else. Well, enjoy. Tom's like, whoa! All of this? <laughs> well, enjoy. You got six years of that left. Appreciate you're gonna you. wait. You're gonna wake up, or you're gonna be forty, and you're gonna be oh. like this. <laughs> we're from morning wood to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I find this funny is I'm a man, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Is insane. Morning noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Morning noodles. <laughs> Jeez.
Oh, man. Man. <laughs> okay, what do we stress about pretty much when we wake up and then when we go to bed? Men. Men. We stress about men. I can see the future. I said they stress about men. And she confirms it. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, ladies, let us know. Is that true? When y'all wake up, y'all be thinking about us? Y'all be stressing about us? He says, where's my man? <laughs> God, I would love if a woman stresses about things about me in the morning. Maybe I am going to get a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me stop. I need to go back to my vault. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Because subconsciously, women are looking for their mate. We're looking for our husband, a father figure for our children. You know, we have every right to stress about getting our perfect... Yeah. Interesting enough, you're also awfully hoe around. Seems like you're, you're looking a lot for a husband. ...man for our family, right? That is what we are subconsciously looking for and what we're stressing about. Like I said, we stress about two different things on a regular basis. And a man's... Hormones fluctuate 24 hours compared to a woman's 28 days. So the second thing a man stresses about every day is sex. Not women. Not women. I might I might not I might not meet I might not be a man. I might not be a man. I actually might not be a man. What do you mean stressing about about sleeping around? The heck? I don't think about that at all. Maybe I'm just just too, too, too pissy to work, but again, I mean a robot wouldn't really think anything. They would just do what what's in their program. Hey, that 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 may fix some problems. She's never going to think about a divorce. She's never going to think about uh breaking up. So, I'll take the robot, probably, at this point. Not like I have any chance with any other woman. Sex, in general. Why? Because men need their testosterone to be catered to. Alright, I'm gonna ask you as a quasi-married man. This is the first two things you stress about, work and sex? No. Alright, let me ask. Let me ask uh, the resident father in the house. Yo, Brandy! Yeah. Alright. Okay. This bro Look at that. Three black men. <laughs> uh, crazy. They they brought they brought somebody to to prove. They brought somebody to prove. Alien preach. I'm going to play a video for you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! You, you are way too comfortable. You are way too comfortable on camera, okay? Okay. I'm going to play a portion of the video. Tell me if you think this is true, okay? The second thing a man stresses about every day is sex. Not women. Not women. Sex in general. Why? Because... The first thing is work. Work and sex. Those are the first two things that men stress about when they wake up every day. Your money, man. Money? Money. Money was the second thing for you, you, you as, a, as, a, as a parent. Work. Work? Money, work, family, friends. Health. Hmm. What are the things I think about? The first thing I think about. Work. Work. Money. Also, I agree. Family. Loneliness. That is, that is a big one. That is a big one. <laughs> that is a big one. Huh. The pets, I guess. Yeah, how about that? Sex, like sex, the one of the last thing. Yeah, me. yeah. I don't really care, man. I mean, when I was younger, it was mostly maybe something really big to me. Ah. But 
after I've done done it with so many girls and everything. No, don't brag. Yo, get off camera. <laughs> no, but <laughs> <laughs> let, 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 let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. I've, I've been through it and everything, so it, it's kind of like a. But like he's thing. over it. Yeah, yeah, I'm over it. He's not like yeah, you know what I mean. No, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I don't even time to date, man. I don't know. It's like. It's probably not normal for a man to have a sex uh, have a sex drive in the trenches, but for me, that's pretty much it. <laughs> what a what a what a cameo! Listen, I've just been fucking so much, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I just began with all these rich, you know what I'm saying? Yo, let me finish. So, like I said, I've been slanging this dick, right? <laughs> well, yo, let me finish, bro. Me, me preach. Me preaching this dick. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they heard. First oh time they God. saw him. Yeah. He's taller than us. Yeah. Then they heard, ooh, he's slanging that thing. Well, it's, oh, it's, but he it's, a family it's, man. It doesn't mean that he's like, it doesn't mean that he's, he's, he's really tall because I'm far four. Right. <laughs> Yo, don't lie to them. I'm I'm two, I'm 260 pounds. <laughs> Men need their testosterone to be catered to. Just like how a woman needs to be loved and nurtured, right? We need to be like assured, we need to be loved and you know, tell reassure us of our love and our beauty. You know, that's all we need as a woman. Just tell us we're beautiful and we're fine. You know what I'm saying? A man? Nah, if you look ugly, ugly I will tell you you look mad ugly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He just needs some. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to make it through this, but like, she you just, can't. Shut it it's out. It's been three minutes. You know what seconds. it is? You know what it is? I'm gonna she, tell you what it is. All right. Okay. Put your hands like that. Put your hands like that. No, like that. Like that. Okay. So today, this is what we're gonna talk about. And then she proceeds to put a bunch of shit. <laughs> shit. She said we're gonna talk about this. We're gonna talk about. This. <laughs> true. True. This was a whole. This was a whole lot of nothing. This was a whole lot of nothing. And that's the subject that... <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, this is, this is what I call the arrogance of youth, okay? This is a young person who's speaking 1,000% confidently mm. about most people. Knowing damn well, at her tender age, there's no way she's met enough people to have all this stuff. Even when she says women wake up and the first thing that they stress about is men. Listen, I've met adult women. A lot of them are also stressing about their financial situation, their education, their family, their, their, their ailing parents, their kids if they got them. Like, there's a lot of things. They're not just thinking about constantly dating. Is it a stress in most people? Sure. And also for men, but saying sex, that is what young guys will generally say. Sex is one of the biggest stressors. No. As you get older, especially when I've hit my 30s, that falls by the wayside. By, by. This, this has fall, this fallen away. I know it's still in my early twenties. I'm gonna. I'm about to. Be, in two years, I'm in my mid twenties. I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> Stop talking about young men. A lot. I hate it because the character of men is like we make money and we want to bang. That's it. And then for women, it's like they just want to please their man. People are not like that. And whenever people get online and speak confidently, it's just like that's not a representation of people you're gonna meet in real life either. But so yeah, all all you gotta provide for a man. Work and vagina. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Anyways, I just want to end the dismissal of woman right away. If you're a woman and you think about work, you're a man. God damn lady, calm the fuck down. I hate when people denigrate women who want to be stay at home moms. You know, they're like, oh, you don't want a real job, whatever. And I hate people who denigrate women who want to have work and careers and really focus on that and be passionate about this shit and really think about it. Everybody got this shit. Like, calm down. Yeah. It's not that serious. You know, like a man needs sex straight up like that. It's simple. It's simple. It's not that he's out there looking for a better chick than you. It's not like he's lusting over everything. It's just his testosterone tells him he needs sex in order to get the job done. Literally, that. I think my testosterone is gone. I'm thinking about having a wife. <laughs> Maybe I'm just an anomaly. A mutation of what a man should be. Am I the weird one? That is that. And if you think it's any more than that, you're making it more complicated than it is because he's a man. Okay? 
we're more complicated than that. We have hidden agendas that we don't even understand, okay? Emotional, emotional intelligence is what we have. Oh my god. Comments. Yeah, you do not have emotional intelligence. I've rarely seen women that have something like emotional intelligence. What, the question is rather, what does that even mean? I think your secretary is a robot. Nah. Nah. Nope. I don't have... I'm my own secretary. Simple. No. Simple. Are men more simple than women? Yes. But those are very different things. Men have all kinds of traumas that they're dealing with. All kinds of internal issues. All kinds of mental stuff that makes them have dysfunction it makes them have an inability to connect with their partners it makes them have an inability to connect with their friends and express themselves emotionally some people are suffering from all kinds of different things they some of them are dealing with anger issues alcoholism are we more simple than women yes but i've rarely met men who didn't have very serious problems in their life that were complicated that were born from all kinds of stressors i know dudes who join the military Wait, may I correct like this oh, on second red i uh, i think now i know what you mean <laughs> um or, or you have some kind of trauma where uh, five years ago, uh, where um, actually longer than five years ago, when now you can't trust anybody at all whatsoever. So you just work. You work. You work your pain away. Do it like me. You will be successful, more or less. And and, and you have no issues because you don't. You, you you f fight them you you bury them under everything else back with ptsd is that simple no nope. would i say that's simple no but is it simpler than what, how women deal with a lot of shit? absolutely because women sometimes y'all be zigzagging to get to your point just wanted to be able to say that but do you think men are simple sometimes it depends it's not a definite yes men are simple yeah sometimes they are sometimes they fucking are well guess what I'm gonna tell you this. Sometimes women are simple as well. People say men are simple, and they'll look at a man. He's like he's quiet, whatever. And then one day that dude asks himself. Yeah, it's not. Simple. And they're like, oh, he's sim he was a simple man. Like you just, he just like, shut the fuck up about the pay that he had. That's not him being simple. He's incredibly complicated. He just doesn't express it in a way that makes you feel any type of way. So you don't feel any complicated feelings in regards to that person. Most of the guys I know are dealing. I don't think you're the best role model for kids. I guess my work ethic could be, my discipline could be, you know, maybe not in that extreme, but you know, you know. <laughs> but yeah, that like he's a simple guy, and then offing yourself. Yep, yep. Because some people are not aware of the storm that is going on inside that man's head. A lot of people don't know that. Dealing with a lot of complicated stuff. Parenthood, that's very difficult, but they suffer on the inside or they don't really express it, so you think they're simple people. They don't talk much, so like, oh, he's a simple... No, him not talking much does not mean he's not thinking a lot. It doesn't mean he's not overcompensating in his head in other ways. Most of the people... You're counting stream, though. You're counting stream. <laughs> You're only counting stream. Like, like I said on Twitter, I, I replaced the date with more work. This is how it is. Well, I, it's just most of the people I've known who are quiet, who are deemed quote unquote simple, me knowing them closer, I did not think they're. I, some people would say you're simple. I don't think you're simple. I think you're a very complicated person. I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. This sassy man. I am. <laughs> that is so sassy. That was insane. <laughs> this is what it is to be simple. Okay? Yeah, tell me. Maybe I misunderstood. It's not that men are simple. Is we don't want to deal with everything that comes with not being simple. I feel like we are more... We are more able to take being displeased, being uncomfortable. It's easier for us to bear that. So we rather deal with that. 
I'd rather be in uncomfortable than my girl being comfortable. Because what comes with her being comfortable... Yeah, that, that, that's pretty much, like, what it is. I'd rather be miserable than everyone else around me being miserable. That, that's that's pretty much also what it is. It's also that... Men also feel a lot less of, like, pressure. For example, stress. Men feel that a lot less. It's like, pretty much, when a man is stressed to the same degree as a woman, a woman will feel that much more, and a man will dismiss it. A lot of men also, I fall into that category, where I dismiss issues like even like pain stress because there's more important things uncomfortable comes with this and that and she's going to talk about it and this and that and if i want a little bit of peace i'll trade my discomfort mm. for that i could take it on my back i'll take it on my back so at least it's going to be simple it's going to be a little bit you know what I mean? mm. easy it's going to seem simple, and I'm not going to talk about it. My girl's not like that. But I've seen a lot of people being like that, you know, in their, in their relationship. They're going to shut the fuck up. They're going to buy peace. Men buy peace. But it don't mean that it bothers them. It's just that if they say it out loud, it's no longer about going to be about them, and they're going to have to solve another problem. They're going to have to solve the problem of how what I said made you feel. And I don't want to deal with that, so let me get simple. Let me shut the f up about it. We're not simple. It's just that the way that we want the ramification of what we're dealing with, we want that to be simple. And we oftentimes choose that. Yeah, okay. I'm inclined to. Yeah, but it's like, you ever, like, walk, and then you get, like, this a little rock inside your shoe, and you want to get it out? You know, so you move it around a little, so it doesn't isn't uncomfortable, and you... And, and, you continue walking, but eventually you're gonna take off your shoe and get rid of that little rock. That's 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 pretty much an accurate description of uh, how a lot of men like handle their problems. They run like ten kilometers with that little rock in their in their shoes, but eventually they they will try to get it out. I agree with that. You just need to use that and actually get smart about like about how men are. The second thing a woman stresses about is kids okay we stress about our kids we stress about emotional needs you know we might have an inner child in ourselves where that's where we take care of that's what we stress about right we stress about having kids we stress about our periods we stress about that that's what we stress about i can honestly say at this point in my life that you stress about your periods <laughs> good time <laughs> that outside of so work it, it's one a or two like family and kids is like number two. And it also just demeans men. Like we can't care about our kids more than sex. Do you really think that? Do you really think that men would prioritize sex over their children? What kind of image are you? I know you're trying to compliment men with all this stuff, but it's insulting. It's a backhand compliment. Basically, you're just saying we all we do is think with our dick and we want to make money. We're, 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 we're dick swinging, <laughs> money making machines. That's how you're painting us. Is this a compliment? <laughs> it's backhanded. It's like saying that if you like women listening to this, if you never say to your man that it, he is not somebody you would have hooked up with. Never say that. Because it's a backhanded it's a backhanded uh compliment. It's like you were pretty much telling me, like, I, I would not even, like, I'm, I'm not worth, like, I'm not attractive enough. I'm, like, the, the safe option. Which is, like, which is super backhanded. Do you... What would that look like? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you're, you're, you're of course, that goes for the average person. I'm not the average person. <laughs> That's important to say, that I'm not the average person. I have to apologize. You're out here being super. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. I don't mind. We can, we can, we can weave in and out. Because if she, if a chick says she's a backhanded compliment, yeah, it's like you mean it, but it's kind of like somewhat. De it's still demeaning.
But if a chick says she would hook up with uh, that I'm with, when the girl says that I'm with, she would hook hook up with, also hook up with me. Yeah, I might run actually. <laughs> Honestly, that just sounds like a Power Ranger slogan. Money making, dick sucking, <laughs> power shaping, money, money making, morphing, dick slicking Power Rangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just say this because I know there's like I'm, I'm looking at it right now. It's got a lot of likes and just call it an insult. I don't call it an insult because women consider it a uh, compliment. That that's just how it is. Some women consider this a compliment, but it's not. And a bunch of guys would be like, fuck yeah. You guys should be a bit embarrassed that you guys think this is a compliment. And guys will complain like, oh, we're only seen for our money and our ability to be masculine. But then you guys will also go out here and share and reinforce stuff that makes you guys incredibly one dimensional. There's some guys that say, fuck yeah. Oh yeah, the comments are, fuck yeah, I look like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Second to men. That's different than sex. Sex and kids correlate, but they're different. Right? It's like the sex comes from the man, and then the woman brings the children, and in return she has to take care of them, you know? Like, we, we both do, men. I don't want to insult... She's, like, inexperienced. I don't think she talked to a lot of men, older, especially like older men, or men who are not part of hookup culture. So the, she doesn't understand this. I'm not going to sleep with a woman that I will not have children with. <laughs> there are plenty of men out there who will not sleep with a woman that they're not going to have children with. And then women take care of children, but women have this different connection with children because we literally birth them. That's why we stress about them. because we That is also not necessarily true. There is men who experience dep depression after the first born uh that happens um men also after uh their like after they have have their have a, have a child their testosterone goes down so they do a lot less risky stuff Saying that, yes, you are the mother, you are more connected. But saying that a man is not connected to, uh, like, biologically to his child is incorrect. We birth them. Our umbilical cord was connected to them. That's why we stress more than men about children. But guess what? That goes to my third stress for men. So the first stress for men was work. The second stress was sex. And the third one is kids. Because, of course, a man's going to stress about his kids. He's got kids. Those are his kids. That is his seed. That is who he is. The fact that she thinks kids no. is third is no, just insulting. It's crazy. Most men I know would give up their job for their kids. If I had kids, they, they'd either be set first or second. Because first would probably be... Uh, uh, wife. Second is, second is kids. Then comes work. Because I gotta provide for these, uh, for the wife and the kids. And then fourth would probably be, uh, parents, I, I think. Most men I know would give up for their kids. And the fact that you think kids is third is crazy insulting. And especially if he has a boy? Now, don't, I'm not taking it away from daughters. You know, a man can love his daughter just as much as his son. But think about that. That is a second him. That is a that is a double him. I disagree. Because I've seen much more the reality of... Uh, a son being a mother's second big love. And a father uh, being the daughter the second big love i've seen much more uh daddy's princes princesses and and mom's mom's princes than the, the other way around but just that's just my experience she's saying we like sons more than hey listen if you want to know how untrue that is there's a term called girl dad mm. My whole point being is that, generally speaking, as kids grow up, you actually learn this. Sons are way more attached to their mothers, and daughters are way more attached to their fathers. Yeah. And that generally rings true for most parenting situations. Just like if I had a daughter, it would be a double me. So, 
after a man stresses about his work, he got his he got his sex in, you know, he got his stuff figured out. That's when he starts figuring out, oh, what does my child need? He needs to go to a different school. He needs this for his future. What is what does my child need? She needs this. She needs to go to ballet. She, you know, she, that's when a man thinks about his children after he's already gotten everything out of the way that he can, you know, talk about everything out of. See, mm -hmm. Kiel. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know who she is. CKL. I just saw what's his video. What's the credentials to talk all that shit? Upload. Gotcha. She got an upload degree. From the Uploaded University. Put the roof over his children's head and he can, you know, have his testosterone figured out because that's what a man needs. I think she just got a degree in yapping. She's just yapping. She's just yap, 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 yap. Man needs his testosterone leveled. And every single day, every single day, his testosterone levels out. Whereas a woman, it's like once a month, okay? Yo, she is beating a dead horse with the scientific thing. 100%. She is just repeating this shit to justify everything. Men are from Venus, women are from Mars. Why? Because our, our testosterone levels up once a day. But, but these women, why are you 28 so, days. Why are you so well, 28 so days. Why are you so close, man? There's a weight gap. <laughs> What's and it's okay because men's testosterone levels out every single day. You think these bitches deserve 33% more? <laughs> uh, I'm going to use that in every argument. When they got their shit all fucked up for 28 days? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is wrong with you, bro? Hell no. You good? <laughs> <laughs> I love these two men. It's crazy. Are you good? I'm good. Cause your testosterone <laughs> levels up every <laughs> single day. <laughs> but these women are not good. Why? Cause it's every single day. Shut up, bro. Just shut up. <laughs> Yeah. And guys, there's a lot of ways to advocate for your problems, but just making this caricature of women in yourselves that is just horrible, it's just bad for media perception. You know, and then, and then men are going to complain, right? They're going to champion this shit. Then they're going to complain, oh, why do women get custody a lot more in family courts? You just sat here saying that sex and your job is more important than your fucking kids. You just sat here saying that until you get your sex in every morning, until you do all this fucking dumb shit, that you're not going to think about your kids. So you guys are out here championing this shit, and then afterwards you're worried, why does the... It's, 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 it's pre predominantly young men, right? There, there are th some 35-year-old boys, yeah, but it's predominantly young men that, like, clap in their hands and say, yeah, go, yes! <sighs> That's why I say I don't get along with the majority of my own age group. Family courts have a perception that men don't want to be involved. Who's this bullshit? Yeah, because apparently, if you're not with the baby's m mother, you got to be busy out there fucking around. Because sex is the most important. This is why I'm saying this kind of shit's stupid. Because every day, get the testosterone levels out. That's what they're going to say in court. <laughs> Judge, I want 50 50 custody. Uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Women, <laughs> man. Just shut up, bro. The joke is overplayed. Chill. Every day. Oh my God. You go out there and fuck around. All right, let's see. Here. Yeah. You need to understand your man and your. Must have been my evil twin, cause I'm not doing it. So that's what it takes to be in a relationship, Just straight up. And if you think you just need to understand yourself first, that's selfish. Okay. And do you have a boyfriend? How, no. How old is this girl? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just browsed her whole Instagram. I don't find that shit. But I could be wrong. Maybe she got it. Um, by Philly Farm. I mean, she out here in fucking underwear is supposed to, which is fine. You know, as a woman in a relationship, do your thing. Okay. Um, why does she hate her life? I'm curious. I don't know. I don't think a woman should present herself like this, but that's just me. You can do what you want. I don't think you should do it though. The only thing you're gonna get is horny guys and, and stalkers and d picks So I'm creating this video because I was just crying. Okay, I was just crying and practically screaming on the top of my lungs, saying that I hate my life, I hate the position I'm in, I'm tired of feeling like my energy is not appreciated, I'm tired of feeling like I'm putting my all into everything. Maybe it's your cycle. 
Maybe it's the 28 <laughs> days that it takes for you. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna write on this joke uh, as much as they can. <laughs> so you saying all these reasons we don't need to know. It's your hormones. <laughs> Everything I do, I put my all into, and you know it might not be the outcome. If a, if you want a stalker, you know what you need to do. What do I need to do? How do you get a stalker? Teach me, wise woman. That's expected, or the outcome that some people might want, but. I believe the effort is everything, and if someone is not putting in the same effort as you, it's because of their own ones. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. This <laughs> sounds like a single person's rant, does it not? Mrs. I figured it out, I blow him every morning, I, men are simple, if men are so simple. That's me, with every woman I meet. I get more energy than she does. That That's literally me. Th that's literally me. <laughs> uh, the shit I do, the shit I do, is bad. It is bad. Help, help me. But why couldn't you figure it out? Let's, let's, He's let's... so simple. Why, why can't you? Maybe that's not a problem. I can sit here and talk my way out of it because I don't know what else to do. It's, it's a very lonely world out there. We're all disconnected. And even the connections you have with maybe your friends or boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever it is that you're connected to, even that connection might not feel as connected as you want it to be because we're all disconnected. They want us all to be disconnected. She's single. Yeah, yeah, you can hear it. That don't sound like somebody who got a loving boyfriend who she's pleasing every day because he's so simple. She knows exactly how to make it work. Overall, what I thought about her original video, she don't know what she's talking about. That's okay. But speaking so like I said, a degree in yapping, that was pretty much it. So confidently, like people are like this or people are like that. You know, sometimes people will be like, ah, Abba, you guys just don't want to take a stance. You guys are fence sitters. I'm like, no, because people are complicated. People are complicated. And they're not the character that you guys make them out to be online. Modern women are like this. Get a hot VTuber avatar, you start to get simps. Yeah, but I want the simpets, not the simps. I don't want to attract men. Also, I don't think I have... The, the only reason that uh, one big male VTuber is watched, which is Vox Akuma, is because of his voice. I do not have an, a hot, attractive male voice. I, I sound like uh, scratching on chalk. At least that's my perception of it. This. Like scratching on, like, board. Like a chalkboard. <laughs> With your fingernails. Modern men are like that. Men are just deadbeats who don't want to. It's like, holy shit. Do you guys only live in absolutes? Do you guys not ever leave your fucking home and talk to people in real life? I don't know why. No. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't leave the house. How did you know? How did you know? Why, but the idea of men being simple, for some reason, for me, in you my already head, attract men. Yeah, but that's useless. I need women. It just doesn't compute. Even your dad. I'm, he's a very quiet person in a lot of ways. He's quiet because he can't tell me because I'm a mom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I would be like, oh, he's very simple. But I don't think so because I remember you told me, does he do gardening or something like that? Yeah, he, he has a lot of like diverse looking hobbies. Yeah, and then there's literally the conversation. Yeah, he has a pond he takes care of. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, men of knowledge. Don't tell, don't, don't tell me my dad is simple. That's it. My dad is quiet. He's not complicated, but yeah. he's not simple. I'd love to hear from you guys. Anything else? Nope. No? Too simple. Yeah, you one of his sims. <laughs> Poor dear. Um, this was a funny video. I like that. Uh, men are simple. That That's the message of the video. Men are simple. Yeah, she didn't know what she was talking about. She didn't know what she was talking about. And, and it's pretty much just... Her talking her way out of this, rationalizing why she doesn't have a good connection with, with, with uh, a loving man. That's just that's just my view, though.